Right, I am back. So this is from pillar to post. This is my latest scenario that I uploaded to the workshop just a, a week or so ago. It, uh, at, the, at the moment it has four stars. Generally most people like it. It's got a bit of marshalling action at the start and then we take the, well, the, the, the train that we form in the marshalling, we take that up to Barnard Castle and then we have a little surprise at the end of that. So we are just waiting for that to load. Good evening driver. Form a rake of empty livestock wagons and deliver them to Barnard Castle. Extract the livestock wagons, 16 in total, from sidings Shildon down 2 to 15. Form them into a train and attach the guards van to the rear at Shildon down 16. This instruction is also on the F1 overlay. As you can see right there. We need to pick up the cattle wagons and put them in this siding here. We're starting from Shildon down 18. How you accomplish this shunting task is totally up to you. You are in charge of operating the manual points in the yard. The livestock wagons may be assembled in any order. The local must lead and be facing towards Shildon station which is this end when the final consist is assembled. Do not stray onto or across the main line while completing this task. Right, the path is set now to our first one. I'm going to make it look easy obviously because I've, I've done this a million times during testing. Well, I say I'm going to make it look easy, but this is already the second attempt at doing this video. <laughs> Completely failed it the first time around. Good evening, Archangel. How are you? I hope you're well. When you complete the train by connecting to the guards van at Shildon Down 16, you will need to manually trigger the completion of the marshalling instruction by decoupling your loco from the consist. Don't ask me why it does that, it just does. I made the marshalling instruction and then every time you, you connect, you know, you've, you've got the, the, the guards wagon, the, you've got all the cattle wagons behind you, you connect the guards van, wagon, nothing happens, nothing at all will happen until you press the decouple button behind your loco and then all of a sudden it completes the task don't ask me why I've got no idea it's the first time I've used the marshalling instruction but you can't say you weren't told <laughs> it's right there for you in that third message it's a little bit of a memory exercise as well, see if you can retain the information. You know, because by the time it actually comes to uncoupling the loco from the consist, like half an hour will have passed, it'll be about half past.
So there's our first cattle wagons, class 101 going past from Shildon. The old Bishop to Darlow service, no, like, no doubt. And we're going the wrong way. We need to go that way. Just remember when you're doing this, there's a bit of a slope on this yard, it's a 1 in 140 gradient, so when you're going this way, you're going to pick up speeds, and obviously when you're going that way, it's going to actually, uh, it actually, it's quite advantageous, um, because it helps when you're going that way, because you, you locals going to naturally want to just slow down all the time. Boo to you too, Ben. Mm. There you go, as you can see, we've uh, we picked up enough speed to start speeding already, you see. We need to actually slow down because we need to go back again now. Right, the next one we want is on that one. I have to I have to release my push to talk before it'll actually respond to me clicking on it. Right, so now we are going we've just been in this one. Now we're going into that one, and there's, uh, we're going to be splitting off, uh, we're not going to take the whole consist from this side, and we're going to split it off, because obviously all we, all we want is the bit that goes up to the cattle wagons, we don't need the rest. we've got attached at the minute we've got bar five to eight obviously they're for sheep and the ones that you pick up for cows are on are called moo moo one to eight because why not We're in good shape now. Requirements wise to run this local, what you're going to need? Well, you're going to need Weardale and Teesdale, obviously. You're also going to need the uh, Western Lines of Scotland, the old Port Road. Um, You're also going to need the BR Class 2MT and finally you're going to want um, the LMS P3 GT. Right, so we don't need all of this, so we need to find the cattle wagons. There they are, bar, bar 1 to 4 there and split off the rest of the consist, leave that in this siding so that that's they're gonna the guard's gonna put the brake on them in a second take note this was put there deliberately because if you mistakenly go into that siding it's gonna attract this wagon to you and it's gonna start rolling <laughs> And it will literally roll itself all the way down to the other end of the yard. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> the next one, next side we're going into is that one right there. There's no cattle wagons on that rig. We just want this one right here. To do that, we're going to have to go all the way down past this set of points here and come through the exchange sidings.
picking up speed as we go down this hill. Right, we've gone past the points, so we now can change the path that way. It doesn't matter which way you, through you go. We're already set up to go into this siding, so we just want to change it to go into this one. Right, that's done, so let's go forwards. You're okay, just try not to swear with your wrist being how it is. Well, leave it alone, you'll go blind. <laughs> you should know better than to tell people you've got a sore wrist on my channel. <laughs> <laughs> Archangel was thinking the same thing. <laughs> a class 37 going past with a Robbie train. Robbie Cole train. Boom, boom. <laughs> yeah, so if you mistakenly go into this siding, because I've seen it happen, I mistakenly went in once, and this little wagon attracts itself towards you, you don't have to touch it you just have to start entering the points and something happens and it, it, it just comes to life and it starts rolling towards you I ran away from it and changed the points again we don't need all of these so we will split off the wagons we don't want so now we've picked up Moo 1 to Moo 3 get rid of the rest they can stay in this siding we don't need those. Now we can give it a bit more gas. Next siding. Because we're just looking for cattle wagons, remember. All these are standard wagons. So the next one we want is these ones. And then after these ones, we want them ones. And that's it. Then we'll assemble them all in this siding here. I mean, there's many ways to skin this car. I've done it from the other end as well, but it takes it takes longer. Um, I've 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 done the whole operation from that end as well. That's the thing about the marshalling instruction. I mean, it, it doesn't matter how you do it as long as it gets done. You know, the, and everybody takes a different approach. So, part of the reason I wanted to see uh, Jenks stream it. Yeah, that's part of the reason I wanted to see Jenks streaming, because I, I like to see how other people approach the same thing. Because this is the most efficient way I've found to do this uh, marshalling puzzle. And it took me many attempts, I'll tell you. It took, takes ages doing it from that end, by the way. <laughs> it took me nearly an hour. Again, we don't want all of them, so we'll, we'll leave what we don't need in this siding. And I use the throttle to brake with because then you don't have the brakes still left on when you want them to come off and end up pu pulling you to a stop. You can just let go of the throttle and you're at the speed you want to be, you know? It's a game, I don't care if it would kill the loco in real life. It works well enough in the game and that's good enough for me. Right, so we don't need them. 
Leave those mineral wagons there. Pick up the last lot. See how long this train's getting, eh? That's all we need, we can go the other way now. Path set to go straight into that siding now. That's all Scotty comes in here to do, he just has a quick gamble on the dice and stuff, then he fucks off again. It's always a flying visit from the flying Scotsman. Right, so we just need to pick off the ones we don't want from the back of this. Where are we? Them ones, get rid of those. Right, now we're ready to assemble our cattle wagons in this siding here. So all we need is to get the end past this switch here. Flip the switch. Come back the other way. You're lurking most of the time. Yeah, I do that a lot, to be honest, though. I do that as well. Because I, I have Twitch on quite a lot while I'm actually just playing something myself. I, you know, I'm one of these, I need something on for background. And usually it's somebody's Twitch stream or other. I always feel rude that I'm not talking and stuff in their chat. But then again, you know, you don't, you can't play your games and, and, and whatever and chat at the same time you know your eyes are either on what you're playing or on the twitch screen not both you're playing street fighter i, c I could never get along with uh, the street fighter games or mortal kombat i was just i could never do the button combinations fast enough you know everybody would always just kick my ass <laughs> right that's far enough we don't want to go any further with these, otherwise we'll go out the other end. So we're going to drop these three off here. So they're now going to sit there. We now need to get rid... We need to get rid of these now. And my solution to this... Well, in the real world, it's probably going to be frowned upon. Because I'm basically going to be slipping them. I'm just going to slip these while we're still moving. Slip them off and, and uh, just let them come to a stop. And then that's it. Because it's faster, you know? So I'm poised, ready to let them go. You have to kind of time it right so that they roll into the right place and they don't roll off the end.
Right, I've slipped these mineral wagons. They're going to come to a stop in this siding. Cheating, eh? <laughs> if it gets it done, it gets it done. And then we just go through the other way, you see? Now we connect the main bulk to the three that we left. I just when I'm playing when I'm playing and watching somebody stream I do make an effort to try and talk every now and again because I know how shit I feel you know when you're streaming for hours and and you've got people watching but nobody's saying a word in the chat and it it can get you feeling quite downhearted at times you know so uh when I'm watching somebody stream I do try and pop up in chat and say things every now and again to start slowing down. I can hear something coming past. Another class 101, that'll be the Darlington to Bishop service. Right, so now we're going to drop off these ones. Quite a few of them. Wait for it to come to a stop. Right. So now we just need to drop these mineral wagons off. Do the same again. Just slip them off into the exchange sidings. Run out of the exchange. Change the points. Run back through the the, the other exchange siding. Yeah, same same for me. I mean you. There's only so many things you can stay, say anyway before you start repeating yourself, you know what I mean? So then you end up with the long awkward silences and that feels even worse sometimes. Right, slip our mineral wagons off. you tell I've done this a lot? <laughs> I, I get them in the middle nicely. Right, we just need to drop off the last three. The last four, sorry. They are literally on the yellow. <laughs> Is that? Oh, yeah. Just to tease you, because you're already looking for cattle wagons, I thought, let's run a train past hauling some cattle wagons. <laughs> so we've got class 25 running past with some moo cows. Check out his head code.
Good evening, Tosh class. You doing a bit of farming, eh? I've got a farm sim and I just can't get on with it. It just feels far too much like... Um, do you know what ruined... Don't, don't laugh, but what ruined farm sim for me was Farmville on Facebook. It just brings back too many memories of clicking on Farmville. I never want that trauma again. Yeah, I've, I've got I've got the platinum edition of Farming Simulator, and I've never used it. It just gathers dust. Right, so that's all of our cattle wagons assembled, but we would be on the wrong end if we connected to them here. We need to connect to the other end, so we're now going to have to run around the whole bang a lot to come back and pick them up, and then drag them back out, and then back into this siding. So that's the operation we're going to do now, just as soon as we slip these into a third exchange siding. letting the hill build our speed up so that's the final wagon slipped Now we need to run all the way around. Right, and we need to come down through Shildon, down one, all the way down here. We need to go past here. We need to go around that one. through here and then we need to come back through this siding all this because that's the only way we can get to the siding that we need which is this one I'm kind of obsessed with the uh, Planet Coaster at the minute, to be honest. Ben will tell you, he's caught me many a time where he, he's, he's took himself off to bed, you know, said his, said his byes and everything to everyone on, on Discord, and then, then he actually interrupts me still playing the morning after, like 11 o'clock in the morning, I'm still there playing on Planet Coaster because I forgot what time it was. <laughs> I just used the standard um, class 37 you get on this route for obvious reasons, mainly just to keep the DLC requirements lower. Um, at the minute you only need four things, Weardale and Teesdale, Western Lines of Scotland, the class 2 MT and the Ginty, that's all you need to run this scenario. Oh, I see trouble ahead. What's this? Something with smoke coming out of it. What could possibly be going on here? Whatever's happened to it, they're all having a good discussion about it. And I think they've already come to a diagnosis. Looking at its head code. <laughs> I 
you'd be putting the non-needed wagons in the corrected sidings well that's the beauty of the uh, martial instruction then you can do whatever you like you know whatever your flavor is the martial instruction will handle it forgot where I was there right so we're switching back now so we've setting our route to go back to our wagons which is now set need a couple of stop and go the other way Do you have Leeds, Huddersfield or Jewsbury in this? The closest I've got um, to Leeds is you can go as far as Garforth I think on the DP simulation version of the East Coast Main Line. That's as close to Leeds I think as you're going to get. Because I think even the Settle to Carlisle route um, only goes as far as Skipton. On the on the workshop version of that route, uh, it's called Settle to Carlisle 1975. I think it's called. Um, it's got higher speed limits and stuff, and uh, I, I think it only goes as far as Skipton. So th I think the closest to Leeds you're going to get is, like I say, Garforth on the DP simulation, East Coast Main Line, which you can get from their website or the workshop. Although I'm not an encyclopedia of train sim routes, there may be a route that has leads and stuff in for all I know. I'm just ignorant to it. I've actually took longer than I normally do to do this. I'm normally done and waiting in the, in the siding over here by now. I'm sat there waiting for the last train to go past. Just creeping up to our wagons to hook up to them. Now we have to go all the way forward to where we've just come from in order to reverse back down into the siding where the guard's van is. There's a 2MT, and there's a black 5. Yeah, so once you once you pull back out with your guard van, come back down, um, because you're going to need to come back down here on, onto uh, siding 1 down here again, in order to get the path to take you up through there. Um, when you do that, there will be a ground signal on red. Um, you just go past it. Because you're in control of all the switches in this yard, in this side of the yard anyway, so if you come to grief, it's because you set a switch wrong, you know what I mean? You can see me playing both Mady branch routes, well yeah, I could, if I had them. <laughs> I've got the J94, I just don't have the roots. Thank you. 
As you can tell by the sound, it's a uh, Port Road Black 5. That was the last time day I. So if you take any long, I mean, you could take as long as you like doing the marshalling. There's no timetable on this. All the rest of the AI after that black five is all proximity triggered. Um, so you're not going to miss any AI whatsoever. Just if you take longer than obviously what I've took here, you know, you're not going to see any more AI go past uh, this yard or Shilden until you go through Shilden Tunnel. Um, so yeah, that's that. Right, so remember at the start, there was a message that said when you connect to the guards van, you need to decouple your loco from the entire consist to trigger completion of the marshalling instruction. So if you don't remember to do that and you don't see a bar, then, well, it's just tough. Should have, <laughs> she should have remembered. <laughs> It's up there for you as well on the F1 thing. You'll need to manually trigger task completion by uncoupling the loco from the consist once you are in down 16 with the fully formed train. Port Road Guards van, just so you've got a passenger view at the back of the train. Because I'm considerate like that. There, see how we're not getting any kind of completion? And you won't get that until you decouple the loco from the front. And then recouple it. See now it's triggered. Instruction complete. Nicely done. Recouple to the consist. So we'll do that now before we forget. Because I'm guilty of doing that as well. I've read the whole message and then just flown off with the light loco. <laughs> right, so we're now reconnected. Recouple to the consist. Maneuver the train forward and back again so you are on Childen down one. The signalman will set your path to the main line. Depart no earlier than 12.32. Well, that's not going to be an issue. Ask permission to pass any adverse signals and when you get to your designated drop-off siding, make sure not to foul the points behind you when you drop off your consist. So now we have a nice little passenger view on the back of the train. So we've got our cattle wagons. All we need to do now is we are here we've got to go back, uh, go to forward again, and then back onto this one here, and then we'll get our route up through this section. And I'm speeding because I was looking at the map and not the speed up. Yeah, I know the Welsh routes. Somebody at Dovetail loves Wales. Somebody should make the Tanfield Railway. That's the oldest, uh, the oldest railway in the country. Tanfield, if I remember rightly, because that was a railway back in the days when they just used gravity wagons. There was no, not even horses. You know, it was all on wooden rails and gr all gravity driven. And I think they have little, uh, they have a few little steam locos on that on that line now. Oh, is that a mistake in my message? Oops. I 
I didn't see that, you know, that, that, that passed the proofreader. I need to sack my proofreader. So I'm sacking myself. <laughs> oh, well, it's a minor error. I'm sure people won't mind. If you squint hard enough, the two looks like a seven, you know what I mean? <laughs> Just scrunch your eyes up a bit, it'll look like, uh, like 7.32. Squint even harder, it'll look like 19.32. Mood bot strikes again. Right, so we are now going back the way we came. Let's make sure our path is set all the way to siding one, and it is. Right, we're now going to rejoin the main line and travel off to Barnard Castle. There's a jitney parked up over there. A couple of the old brake tenders. In real life, right? I tell you now, in real life they were never as green as that. They were more all rust, basically, with maybe a splash of yellow on the front. But it was just mostly rust. One last look at the stricken class 25 I mean I think th this has got to be the first scenario I actually enjoyed creating from start to finish um, I just I don't know what it is it's it just it was so easy to work with there was hardly anything went wrong really and the whole process of making a marshalling puzzle it's it's quite fun actually especially with this yard you've got so much of a yard to play with it's massive this yard Not as big as some American yard, but you know what I mean. For a British route, it's quite a big yard. Right, you don't actually need to go all the way into the siding. As long as that yellow turns green like that, that is your path set, so you can go now. So we're now heading through Shildon Station and into the tunnel. We're on a 15 limit as we cross over all these points. Oh, they've got G94s on the Tanfield Railway, have they? I thought they had some kind of uh, tank locals that had square tanks as well, not just G94s. Right, so we're off to Barnard Castle now, no more shunting. Heading into what is now known as the Prince of Wales Tunnel at Shildon.
and we've got a 15 limit at the end of the tunnel as we turn off the main, off, off the line towards Barnet Castle. Oops, we're speeding. Put some anchors on. One in 95 gradient. No worries, Zulu. No worries at all. It's just uh, you have to be careful what you write because Moobot is definitely moody. She takes exception to certain things like repeated symbols and things like that. A local called Pizzle. Right, all the AI that you're going to see now is all proximity based. It will not start moving until you get to a preset distance away from it and then it will start moving. Um, you won't notice that it stood still because you know I, I made sure I got the tape measure out and you know measured minimum distances so that you wouldn't see them all stood still and, and whatnot. But yeah, it's all it's all proximity based, borrowed from the quick drive section of Train Sim. Matt Pedals told me off when I told him I was doing this. He was like, he was like ah. That's for quick drive, but you shouldn't use it in scenarios. But I'm like, well, if it works, why not? You know, because it gives everybody a better experience. Got a, a jitty coming out there. He's going to uh, shunt those into... There's a siding over here somewhere. He's going to... I think it's next to them. He's going to shunt it into a siding somewhere anyway. But yeah, I mean, why not use the proximity thing? You know what I mean? Because uh, that way, people can take as long as they like at the start. You can take as long. You could take an hour and a half if you want to do the Marshall in bit. And when you come through the tunnel, you're still going to see everything exactly how I intended it to look. You know what I mean? What? Why would you not use it? Let's have a look-see at this Class 25's head cord as he goes past. I wonder what that's going to be carrying. Right, the next civilization we're going to, we're going to go through is going to be west of Auckland. lovely route isn't it every time I look I play on this route I just love how much scenery there is compared to some of the other routes all right we've got enough speed let's lift off the throttle oh what's that over there I've even done stuff in the distance for your look to add that extra little touch of realism. You've even got stuff happen off, off in, happening off in the distance. That's the river weir down there. No more than a brook at this stage. That guy's going to get held up at that stop signal.
I wonder what that train driver's favourite band is. <laughs> And you just know if there's gonna if there's a class two MT in one of my scenarios, you just know one of them is going to be seven eight or one eight. It just has to be. I figured why not at West Auckland because that's where seven eight or one eight spent most of its working life at West Auckland Shed. This is where she was based. Where, where she lived that's the local I worked on for a few years back in the in the 90s plenty of blood sweat and tears went into helping with the restoration on that putting the tires on the wheels shot blasting the boilers you know descaling all the rust all that kind of you know horrible work but it needs to be done I wasn't daft enough to get in the firebox though. <laughs> as much as I've been um, silly with the head codes on the 25s with humorous head codes, the, 40, the 37s have uh, accurate I think they're accurate anyway, uh, head codes. 3E, E is the, uh, the the eastern region obviously, and uh, the 3 and the 4 indicates um, how much of the consist is fitted with brakes and not, or not. Twenty five limit as we go through West Auckland Station here. may recognise those sidings if you've done the Hagalises branch scenario by Top Oak. That's where you start off in those sidings on that scenario. Whether you're doing the Class 25 version or the J94 version. Where somebody in chat forgot to fill up his water tank. <laughs> Good evening Grey Brad, how are you? You managed to fit into a J94 firebox. Well, all, all I can say about it, that is rather you than me. There's another 37 freight train. I'm going to reduce to a 20 limit shortly as we cross over the junction that takes you on to the Buttonhole branch, or as they called it in the game, the Hagalises branch, but to us locals it's the Buttonhole branch. I don't know where they pick up the name Hagalises from. Blowing the horn for the level crossing, just before somebody accuses of horn abuse. <laughs> mentioning no names, Ben. You saw so at the minute. Oh. Well, I guess it's better than saying you, you completely crock, I suppose. I hope your so-so gets better. <laughs> All right, it's slowing down to 20.
That is the turn off to the Hagalises branch, that takes you at Hagalises, otherwise known as Buttonall. Here we have a, a backwards 2MT hauling a freight train. And the beauty is, no matter how long it takes you to do the first part, you're always going to see all of this lot in the exact same place. One in 64 gradients. This is actually going to decrease when we get right to the top of the hill and we get to the a, there's a bridge goes over the top of this branch line here. At that little section there it goes down to a 1 in 27 gradient. Yeah, on the second attempt you were good with it, Ben. <laughs> the first attempt you blew it up because you forgot to fill the boiler up. <laughs> Just managing 20 miles an hour at the minute. The next train we're going to see is a, it's fairly humorous. It's like way, way longer than you would have ever seen in real life. And the head codes are funny. Yes, inside my brain, and I'm sure if I scroll back on my Discord chat enough, it'll be there. <laughs> I'd have to scroll back a few months, but it would still be there. <laughs> So here's a little interesting fact for you. Did you know that if you're making a scenario or something, there's no assets on this route. That ha there's no speed signs. Not one. I don't know where they found the speed signs to place at the side of the track, but it's not in this route when you're making a scenario. <laughs> so there's the first head code. <laughs> That's a reference to how long the train is, by the way. There's the second one. Because <laughs> as, as you can see, it's quite a long train. And as the other one goes past the end... He's laughing his ass off. Somewhere in the distance, we're going to see a black five. Going to make an appearance. There he is. The little things I do, eh? Off he goes with his coal train.
Right, this bit's going to go all the way down to a 1 in 27, there we go, really sharp. What is that as we cross over? It's a Jinty! Going under the bridge as we go over it. I've lost my loco sound. You're off now Zulu, okay no problem, see you later. This is Cockfield Felt. Hopefully that fixed the engine sound problem. Does this scenario work if you save and then carry on? Well, like I say, all the AI is proximity based, so... I'm gonna guess... As long as you save it after the marshalling bit, it's probably gonna behave perfectly. If you wanted to do it in two sittings, you know, do the marshalling bit and then save it and then do the next bit. As long as you, because the only time day I is for the first half an hour of the scenario. After that it's all proximity based. So to be on the safe side I would say yes, it's going to be safe to save it after the first half an hour has passed. Five miles to Barnard Castle.
Because the only time saving it causes a problem is uh, when all the AI is timed because obviously it screws around with the timings and stuff in the dispatcher but the way these are set up um, with the proximity ones uh, what the one lesson that I found out was the proximity ones you can't do anything complicated with them like um, especially the ones that I found that I set up near the end I found if I had them crossing any points and stuff they would derail themselves and whatnot so they're just literally going from point to point without crossing any points and whatnot and uh, when it's set up like that just triggered by what distance they are from you there's no way it can really go wrong is there Should read you the story about a train. Sorry, I, I, I gave away my Thomas the Tank Engine books years ago. <laughs> when I was like 10 or something, I gave them away. I remember the original Thomas the Tank Engine, not the ones that, they, that they've, uh, they've done recently. I, I watched the original ones with all the plasticine models and stuff. I've got some videos you could watch if I wasn't doing these videos for YouTube. Um, I would just put them on a an, on a screen in in the screen, if you if you know what I mean, to watch while I'm driving around. Uh, a lot of like old British paint stuff, you know, like proper historical stuff. I love those, the really old train videos and that. I love them. I've got tons of those, um, but yeah, not while I'm doing. A video for YouTube. Yes, the Ringo Starr ones, or as he as he was named in the titles, Richard Starkey, because that's his real name. Right, we're going to be dropping down to 15 miles an hour on as we cross on to the single line section. We need to slow down to pick up the token from the signalman. Kevin Bacon's the signal man on this one. The hollow man. You can't see him. <laughs> God, how the mighty have fallen, eh? Going from being in films like The Hollow Man and Footloose and Tremors and stuff to doing really, really, really bad TV commercials for EE. E. How the mighty have fallen. And then there's John Collard Van Damme doing adverts for Coors Light. They're just, they're just so desperate for money. Right, we've got the token. Screw the speed limit. Mainly because I forgot about it. <laughs> so busy yakking. Not enough concentrating. Sometimes the reason that there was a, I, I wrote something about tab past any adverse signals um, just before you left Shildon Yard was because sometimes these signals in front of this crossing that are coming up they actually show up as red, and I've got no re no idea why. Um, sometimes it'll be green, sometimes it'll be red. I could never figure out why it did it, so I just put that message up instead.
today they're on a green. So yeah, as I was saying, where the hell they got these speed limit signs from, I do not know, because they're not available for you to use when you're making the scenario. So I had to get creative um, in the next little part that you're going to see. Um, there's going to be a speed, a temporary speed restriction. And uh, I couldn't find any speed boards to tell you to be at 15 or whatnot. So I had to get creative and instead I ended up melding several assets together. I used a speed sign, which is that little arrow you see underneath the speed limit. Uh, not that not that arrow, but sometimes you see where it's like a long arrow going horizontally. Yeah, one, it, that, some of those um, and a couple of whistle boards from the port road. I, I melded them all together to make a new sign. Basically, there's a sign where the speed arrows are pointing down to tell you speed down, you know, slow down, speed down. And then when you can go again, the arrows are pointing up to tell you speed up. Yeah, those arrows there. Them ones. See, they've, they've, they've seen fit to let you have these arrows here, but this little stick with the with the numbers on, you know, you're not allowed to have it in this route, apparently. I could never find it. EE -E equals extra expensive. What am I doing? I still had it in reverse from when I was keeping speed going down that hill. Well, we triggered this guy to go anyway. So he's off, he's off to Darlo. Off he goes. All what we are driving on now in modern day life is now Glaxo Smith Klein Beecham. We're driving through a factory now. This is where they make all that stuff that makes you feel even worse than when you than before you went to the doctors. <laughs> right, so we've got to stop without foil fouling the, the points behind us. Should be close enough. And decouple. You notice the station marker start walking over to your loco beckoning at you to open the window. That actually works better. I've got auto pause on. It actually works better without auto pause on because it will literally, you'll have just enough time to read that on and then it'll change to this message. The station master tells you the Darlington to Middleton in T service has broken down, which is that DMU over there. You are to become a Thunderbird as the passengers still need to get home. Move forward to the shunt, which is just there. Reverse back and couple to the class 101 unit and make your way to Middleton, stopping at every station along the way. Request pass is approved. This viaduct is not around anymore. All gone, knocked down.
wait for the uh, dispatcher to set our path. Oh, hang on, we're starting to roll here. Probably because I've still got throttle on, like an idiot. Ask for permission to pass the signal, control and tab, and couple to the DMU, then pick up passengers. Got a jitty there picking up some passengers on that platform. Tad overboard on power for Tona 101. Yeah, well, when needs must. I guess we were the first local to turn up at the time they needed it. So we're now picking up passengers. Which won't take long. There we go. In these days of decline, the track maintenance isn't what it should be on the line slated for closure due to the infamous beaching report. The heat of the summer has caused the track to buckle at the start of the Middleton and Teesdale line. As a result, there is a 15 mile an hour speed limit along the damaged section. Stick it in forward, there's a good lad. Right, off to Middleton we go. We'll see him in a few minutes. Forty five limit, but not for long. Our fifteen limit is coming up pretty much there we go, straight away, less than a mile. That's where the buckled track starts. You wonder if a two MT would manage this one. Yeah, easily. Speaking of 2MT, you're going to see one of those in a couple of minutes. Start slowing down. Splitting off onto the Middleton branch now. There's my little homemade sign. Do you like it? <laughs> and now we're on the buckled line. As you can see, she's quite bumpy.
but you don't realise just quite how bumpy it is until you look in this view and you just see that loco in front just wobbling around all over the place. It's like driving down a Chinese railway. Tell you what, it's not easy to make a stretch like this, I've found out. Because it does it randomly every single time you do it. it. There'll be a different set of bumps every time you change the properties on on the stretch. You know, you, you, what you do is you select the track, pick a stretch, and then you change the properties um, to, to tell it how bumpy you want it. And every time it'll put the bumps in a different place and stuff, and some will be worse than others. And uh, yeah, for the first few times, there would be like one random bump somewhere that didn't matter how slow you were going, it would just knock you right off the track. So I had to smooth it out here and there. There's the 2MT. Oh, and there's the Jinty again. Look at him go. Speedy. Go on, Thomas. That's too empty. So there's our little end of section. Right, back on smooth track again. Yep, it works. Eventually it works. Don't worry, these stops, these passenger stops won't keep you waiting for long, trust me. I set them up to last a minute, but yeah. Standard scenarios being standard scenarios, one minute equals fucking two seconds. I don't know why it does that in standard scenarios, you know, you tell it you want the stop to last a minute, but it'll close the doors after like ten seconds. I don't know why it does that, what rhyme or reason it has, but it, it's fairly annoying to be honest, because in this instance, I can't use the timetable function, you know, the, the little timetable icon to uh, to make sure it lasts for that long because you don't know when the player's going to get here. You know, if they took an hour to do the marshalling, they're not going to get here in, on the timetable time, are they? If we stop at this, we'll be lucky. We made it! Yeah, this is supposed to last a minute. See how long it lasted? Off we got a rumble kirk. I 
Yeah, because normally the way you would get around that is to use the timetable icon when you're making the scenario. You, you just tell it to be timetabled and it'll sit you there for that fixed amount of time and what let you go till that till it reaches that specific time that you're supposed to go at but when you don't use that yeah it just decides right okay 10 seconds is enough for everybody to get off the train and everybody on the platform on the train I just think we uh, you know we all move at like 50 mile an hour Um, did I forget the local handbrake? I sure did. But we still got to 45 mile an hour. <laughs> so the handbrake can't be that very that good. Tell you what, I bet this is the fastest uh, Class 101's ever accelerated up to line speed on this line. That's the River Tees. Because we're in Teesdale now, we've come out of Weirdale and we're in Teesdale now. why it's called from pillar to post because we knock you around from one valley to another good game I broke the local the wheels no wages for me today ah they're all right they're just a bit warm that's all no harm done it was the brake pads that took that took the brunt of it you know they 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 all turned to liquid and dripped all over the floor but the wheels yeah they they kept cool off the track you see the, the, the constant contact with the track dissipated the heat kept them cool so the wheels are fine we've just got no handbrake <laughs> couple of milk wagons there at the farmer's shed here at Rommelkirk they're ready to be shipped off to the dairy probably be a J94 or something come and pick them up later on not that we'll see him All aboard! Well, 10 seconds is enough for these passengers, I guess. Ah, he was too slow. You snooze, you lose, mate. He's looking at his clock thinking, oh yeah, shit, I am a bit late, aren't I? Well, explain this, Ben. To flat spot the wheels, the wheels cannot be moving. Right? So if we were moving at 45 miles an hour, we were rolling down the track at 45 miles an hour. You know, from a standstill, we, we, we were moving at 
at 45 mile an hour with those handbrakes on, so how could I possibly have flat in the wheels? The logic does not compute. The wheels have to turn to, to get us from 0 to 45, so therefore we can't be flat spotting them, can we? Next stop's Mickleton, and then after that, the final stop at Middleton. the arrow evening sun casting some shadows Here's our stop at Mickleton, half a mile. So when this scenario ends, I will be pressing stop um, streaming on my uh, streaming software just to partition off this scenario as a separate video on the past broadcasts because I'm going to upload it to YouTube. But I will be putting the stream straight back on so don't go anywhere. All you'll need to do is refresh the stream like 30 seconds after I stop it. It will literally be, I'll stop the stream, I'll change the stream title, and I'll start the stream. It'll, you know, however long it takes to type the stream title, that's all that it'll take. And it doesn't take that long to type three words, you know what I mean? The next scenario I'm going to be doing, again, it's going to be for a YouTube upload. Um, it is actually the first scenario I ever made that I kind of, uh, I made improvements to it, but it's still the first scenario I ever made, so, you know, don't expect it to be as polished as this one. Right, that was that stop done. Final stop at Middleton in Teasdale coming up. Evening, summer, it can't be a bank holiday on Monday. No, definitely not. It's not raining enough for it to be a bank holiday Monday. Yeah, the next scenario is them. Um, many of you will probably already know of it as Deltic Thrash, but I've removed that from the workshop now completely. It's gone. Um, because I remade it into Preserved Deltic Challenge, which is the one I'll be doing next. And uh, a well known streamer or two have tried it. One got almost all the way to the end and then got too panicky on the brakes and derailed himself because you're hauling a massive consist of all very short wagons, which likes to concertina up on itself if you mess around with the brakes. And uh, the other one just didn't grasp the con concept at all. You know, he didn't didn't grasp that you, you, you're hauling 4,000 tons and you're not going to be going at line speed. He wanted to be going at 60 mile an hour with 4,000 tons behind him. You know what I mean? And he wanted to be doing it straight away with no wheel slip. You know, he didn't get grasped that it's a challenge scenario. 
uh, I built it as a challenge. It it doesn't hold your hand. It'll never hold your hand in no way, shape, or form. There's everything's designed to uh, to screw you up, basically. That's the whole challenge of it to get to the end with a gold medal without screwing up. It is possible, and I'm going to show you it is. Oh, what's this? I don't know, some people just have too much spare time on their hands, don't they? <laughs> you can clip and export your past broadcast. Yeah, I know you can, but I'm lazy in the fact that I don't want to have to retitle everything. You know, if I just stop the stream, change the stream title, restart the stream, that's it. You know, the title's going to be different on YouTube as well. You know what I mean? Am I irascible on Workshop? Yeah, on Steam, you mean. Yeah. Same name, same icon, same avatar, everything. Oops, slow down. Hashtag blame chat. <laughs> center of the play just for the flying Scotsmans of the world I did one little final thing all hail the mighty Gronk and he's parked up over there there's our relief driver stood waiting This is the end of this scenario, so like I say, I'm going to be, I'm going to press stop on once I've completed the scenario. I'm going to press stop on the broadcast. I'll change the stream title and then I'll be right back. All you'll need to do is just refresh your stream. Excellent work driver, it's been a long shift but you made it. Another driver is here to take over the loco and take the DMU back to Darlington for repair. Time for you to wet your whistle with a well deserved pint at the local before catching a lift back home. Where dinner is keeping warm in the oven, growing drier by the minute. Thank you very much for the follow Thirsty Works. I do need to change my uh, follow alert though. <laughs> it's still on my Gold Rush the Game follow alert. Right, that's the end of that one. Okay, I'm going to press stop on OBS now. And when I come back, it's going to be the next scenario. It's literally, just give it 30 seconds and refresh your streams, folks. For some reason, it's uh, it's not ending. It should end. Never mind. We did it anyway. Right. Like I say, give me 30 seconds and I'll be right back. Ending the stream in 3, 2, 1...